Hey everybody, this is Glamazine Tay, and I am back today to show you guys exactly how I made this wig on my head look realistic. Now first starting off, I decided to collaborate today with Wiggins Hair. Now I actually ended up getting four bundles of 22 inch and then one 13 by 4 20 inch frontal but I decided to go ahead and swap one of the 22 inch bundles out and I had got some hair um, that I had previously bought and I wanted it a little bit longer so that was 26 inches but as you guys can see this is the Brazilian body wave it's very luxurious you guys as you can tell now first starting off you're gonna need a wig cap skin tone color a curved needle for sewing that's my preference and I actually this time used some nylon sewing thread and when I tell you it made my hair such a big difference and this time I'm gonna be using a mesh dome style wig cap these are two different styles of caps that you guys can use if you want to make a wig but today we're just gonna go ahead and use the mesh one and I have a link below where I purchased them now as you guys can see I'm gonna go ahead and measure this across and like it should be it's about 13 by 4 but this one seems to be about 14 inches you guys which is extremely too long for my hair so what I'm gonna do is measure from ear to ear on my head as you see is the one circled in the middle and when I measure mine it was about 12 and a half so what I want to do is actually take this 12 and a half measurement from ear to ear on my head and actually cut kind of in the middle you know what I'm saying like it's always in the middle so you get to cut off a little slab on one end and a little slab on the other end so basically you're making the frontal customized so that is the size of your head because if it's too long it won't fit correct if it's too short it definitely won't fit correct now here is my frontal that's pre customized by clipping the ends and it is wet now as you guys can tell with it being wet it's way easier to work with and I'm actually now gonna go ahead and start with some little safety pin push pins and push them into my mannequin now back to what I was saying is with it being wet it makes it way easier for me to just braid it and keep all the baby hairs out the way when you notice that when hair is dry it's more lightweight and flowy so me wetting it up just helps a lot and it also helps with plucking the hair as well but you can see it's kind of pre-dried now so you guys this is my like, one of my favorite but I hate parts is plucking the frontal now you have to pluck your frontal if you want it to look natural this is what helps with the baby hairs this helps everything fall in place and look good it can take up to like two hours if you're taking your time and that's normally what I do is try to take my time now here's the mesh cap you guys can see it's really stretchy so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that onto the mannequin now with me putting this on the mannequin I'm getting a good fit for it and I'm gonna be honest when I used to have hair on my head I used to have put like um, shopping bags inside of the dome cap so it would stretch it out a little bit more but since I have a really really shortcut it doesn't really affect me I can kind of make my wig on this mannequin now but if you have more hair you actually need to put something in there to make it more sh more fulfilled like it's an actual head size if you understand now with me sewing this this is basically just regular sewing method as you guys see I pretty much put the needle through it and then I put it through the loop now with me doing that it kind of builds that little line above it now I feel like this is the most secure way and also I used to do the flip over method but now since I make wigs I just kind of clip it because I want it to be flat now when I'm sewing at the bottom of the wig I actually do do the flip over method but when I get to the top, I actually start cutting the tracks. And if you're not familiar, the flip over method is when you don't cut any tracks, you kind of just flip them and then, you know, just sew it. But when I get to the top, I want it to be flat as possible. And then this is about as close as to the frontal I'm going to get, which is pretty much okay with me. I feel like that's pretty close, you know. And then I just kind of secure it, knot it off, and then everything is Gucci. Now, next after doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the frontal. You guys know I plucked it. My wig is pretty much made. I wanna see what everything's looking like. And it does look okay, but I feel like I want it to be plucked a little bit more. Also, something I noticed is that this lace is very, very ashy white, meaning that it comes off a little bit white. And if you're darker than me, it definitely is going to come off a little bit white. But we can fix that later on. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut off the cap now. And when I cut off the cap, you got to be very, very careful so that when you put it on your head, everything is a little snacked and you don't cut none of the strings that you just sat here and took all your time to freaking make this wig like honestly that's the worst part and I've done it before and, and let me tell you it sucks so when making these kind of wigs I always like to have a little bit more of security within the wig so it does actually fit on my head pretty snug but I want it to be a little bit 
more snug. Like I just want the most snuggest, snuggest I can feel, okay? <laughs> I don't even think that's a word. But now with this one, we're actually gonna use the circumference. Now you guys see, we're not gonna use it against the front like we did earlier. We're actually gonna use it towards the back of the measurement. So not where it's scribbled out, but the actual back part. And then after we do that, we're basically gonna go ahead and after we measure it, we're gonna take um, about two or three inches off of that and cut your elastic band. And you know, you just stretch it up against the back to see if it's snug, if it's too tight or whatnot. So when I do that, basically I just stitch it on and I stitch it on it just as I sewed the wig. So it's nothing too special about that portion. It literally is just stitched on in the lace band. Now, you would think with me having this white blonde wig, I definitely would not need to bleach the roots, but actually I do bleach my roots. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't do when they have these kind of wigs, they don't bleach the root. Now, as you guys see, the wig looks good, but when you get to this portion, you can actually see the demarcation of where the wig is. And that is definitely a big, big no-no. Like, I don't like that. Like certain angles, it looks good, but then at this angle, you can tell it doesn't look good. This is the hair just blow dried. Actually take some pressed powder the same color as my skin tone and put that on the inside of the wig where the frontal is. So with doing this, it takes that transparent lace and changes it to the color of my actual skin tone. So that's why it looks so effortless and it looks so much better and it doesn't look ashy is because it's actually now the same color as my skin tone. So that's a little trick I like to do. And then with doing the baby hairs and razor and everything, you know, it just makes it look way more natural. I got plenty of videos up on that. So if you guys are interested, you know, I can do another video. I I do have a lot up on YouTube already though but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and definitely definitely let me know if you enjoyed this video because if you do I will do some more so I'll see you guys